Republican Congressman Charles Bastani is one of them. Congressman, very good to have you. We're, we're, you Great know, to be with you, Neil. This is crazy now. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a legislative standstill. What's the latest? Well, you're right. I mean, we are at a legislative standstill right now. And I think the, the bottom line is, if you look at the House bill, H.R. 3200, it just doesn't have broad support. And uh, it, it focuses on what divides us. It's really not good policy. And I think it's a real problem. So, uh, well, you met, we with Stanley, to... you met with Stanley Horton, House Majority Leader, and, and, and uh, where, where did those discussions go? Because the president has indicated he's going to keep pushing the gag order. We had Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell here saying you do that. We're going to freeze all, all your nominees. Um, so what happened in your chats with Stanley? Well, first of all, uh, with regard to the gag order, let me just mention that I think it's criti critically important that seniors know the truth of what's going to happen, and they're going to have cuts uh, to vital services. No, I know, I know that, and we know the, the germ yeah. behind the gag order. So with Steny, any yeah. progress, man? Well, with Steny, I, uh, I had a good, you know, basic discussion, and I said, look, the ball's in your court. If you want to you move health care legislation, scrap H.R. 3200. It's got too many problems. It's toxic, and let's get back to the drawing board. We will be willing to sit down and, and try to work out some agreement as to what's use, you know, reasonable policy in health care. And so really the ball's in their court. And if they want to call a meeting and, and try to try a good faith effort at bipartisan, bipartisan work on this, then we're ready to do well, that. Well, he, he, I, I imagine he's not going to scrap 3200, one of the, the key house bill that really is, everything has been built on thus far. He might, yeah, I think he might look at some of the yeah. baucus issues that the Senate's dealing with. But... So it's fair to right. say that nothing has happened. No chess pieces have moved, and now this is no, frozen. And is that what Republicans really want, just to freeze the process? And, the, you know, you're, you're running out the clock, a clock that looks bad for them because they want to get this done sooner rather than later. Well, uh, Neil, I would say they're running out the clock because they're not willing to compromise. And, uh, you know, if they want to get a good health care bill, then I think they have to involve us and, in a good faith effort. If they want to persist on the path that they're on, the clock's going to run out. Let me ask you, though, Congressman, was there any change in Democrats' behavior that you noticed, or certainly among your colleagues, when the CBO effectively said that the concerns that Yamana was raising, that, that if you're a Medicare Advantage, you could see your benefits cut, were accurate? And, and, and the CBO confirmed, yeah, benefits would be cut. Now, to be fair, CBO was saying that the, the, the provisions that, that were giving insurance companies a lot of money to offer those benefits would, would be cut. But be that as it may, didn't that give them pause about pushing this gag order when, in fact, Humana was right? Well, Humana was right, and we're talking not only about Medicare Advantage cuts, which, I mean, the Medicare Advantage program needs, needs some improvement, but there are going to be cuts into that program. But we also have additional cuts to the basic Medicare program as well that are uh, in, basically uh, encompassed in H.R. 3200. I mean, you can't right. cut a program by $500 billion and not feel the impact on care for our seniors. And so our seniors deserve to know what's coming with this health care okay. reform if it passes. All right, Congressman, thank you very much.